Imagine going about your daily life and not being aware that someone is living inside your house. The trend of frogging refers to the distributing an unethical practice of staying in other person's homes or wherever they can gain entry, like businesses, stores, restaurants, and shopping malls without their knowledge or consent. This phenomenon has seen a rise in recent years due to the popularity of social media and the sharing economy. Living in someone else's house without their knowledge is a chilling and unsettling concept that taps into our deepest fears. While it is uncommon, there have been a few documented cases of people secretly residing in other people's homes unbeknownst to the homeowners. Here are a few true horror stories that have sent shivers down people's spines. Some celebrities have also been victims of frogging with assailants living in stars' homes, stealing or trashing their homes while they were away. For example, high-profile celebrities like Jennifer Lopez and Chris Brown. In 2015, a woman was accused of breaking into Chris Brown's home in Agora Hills and pleaded not guilty to residential burglary, stalking, and vandalism. Amira Aib was 21 at the time of the alleged break-in to the singer's home on May 2nd. She was arrested Wednesday when Brown returned home and discovered her inside. Aib was being held on a $220,000 bail and a judge ordered Aib to stay away from Brown. She is not allowed to have any electronic contact or come within 100 yards of Brown. An obsessed stalker who allegedly managed to live in Jennifer Lopez's pool house for six days without being noticed. The assailant, retired fireman John Dubis, age 49, posted creepy pictures from inside the grounds online as he ranted about being married to the star. He even slept on a couch in the pool house at the $10 million Hamptons property and even parked his car in front of the star's home during his stay between August 3rd and August 9th, according to police. Frogging has been fueled by a combination of factors, including the desire for adventure, the thrill of breaking the rules, and the fascination with exploring someone else's private space. Social media platforms have played a significant role in glamorizing this trend, with some influencers and content creators promoting it as a way to experience the off-the-beaten-path living. The romanticization has led some individuals to disregard the potential harm and invasion of privacy caused by frogging. While the notion of staying in a stranger's home may seem adventurous or even thrilling to some, the consequences of such actions can deeply be troubling and in many cases, downright horrifying. Let's examine some other creepy cases of frogging and the devastating outcomes it has caused. The Hidden Attic Dweller. In 2014, a family from Japan discovered a hidden compartment in their home's attic. To their horror, they found bedding, food wrappers, and other personal belongings indicating that someone has been living there secretly. The police investigation revealed that a homeless man had managed to enter the home and lived undetected for almost a year, sneaking out at night to scavenge for food. The Nighttime Intruder in 2018, a woman in Ohio started noticing strange occurrences in her home. Objects would go missing or be moved, and she could hear unexplained noises at night. She even found small personal items that didn't belong to her. Terrified, she installed surveillance cameras and discovered footage of a man coming out of the basement at night, using her belongings and sleeping on her couch. The intruder had been secretly living in her basement for several months without her knowledge. The Creepy Crawl Space Occupant A couple 
in North Carolina experienced a spine-chilling ordeal in 2016. They noticed food disappearing from their pantry and heard odd noises from the halls. After a thorough search, they discovered a hidden crawl space under their house that led to a makeshift living area. It became apparent that someone had been living there, accessing the house through a small opening in the wall. The couple immediately moved out and contacted authorities who found evidence of the intruder's presence. The unwanted tenant. In 2019, a homeowner in England discovered that her home was being secretly occupied by someone else. She noticed strange smells, dirty dishes, and even missing food. Her suspicions were confirmed when she found evidence of someone living in the attic, including a makeshift bed and personal belongings. The police were called and it was discovered that the individual had been breaking into the house while the owner was at work and living there during the day. The only fan stalker. In 2022, Janice Giliano woke up from a nap at her home in Cape Coral, Florida, and surprised when she saw a man's legs dangling from the attic door in her garage. She confronted the man. He apologized and told her that he had come from the other side of the duplex. Then he climbed back up into the attic. When Giliano went to confront the neighbor next door, the man left the house and denied he had been in her attic. Alarmed by the intrusion, Janice called the police. Mauricio Damon Guerrero became obsessed with the woman he met on OnlyFans after finding her online. Their exchange was casual, but Mauricio wanted to take it further. He digitally stalked Janice until he became obsessed in meeting the 20-year-old Janice. By 2022, he had discovered her home address in New Hampshire. He reportedly managed to steal the woman's keys. Once he accessed the victim's home, Damon Guerrero sneaked into the attic. There he would wait quietly until the middle of the night. When the woman was asleep, he crept into her room to film her. The woman's mother noticed something odd after hearing strange sounds from the attic. The police investigated and arrested the man as he climbed out of the attic onto the home's roof. On his phone, cops found videos of the woman that he had been recording as she slept. He admitted to entering her home at least four times. He also told detectives that he intended to put a tracking device on the woman's car. Cops charged Damian Guerrero with four counts of burglary, but he was bailed out of jail before the trial. The woman was granted a restraining order against him. Officers had been to the other side of the duplex before serving warrants. When cops returned this time, they crawled into the attic and discovered $1,200 in damage. The man had allegedly climbed into the attic and broken through a dividing wall to reach Janice's side. Cops believe he was the same man they had been looking for. He allegedly hid in Janice's attic to avoid the police. He then fled after she confronted him and before the cops arrived. Thankfully for Janice, the duplex mate was soon evicted. Honolulu Horror A Honolulu couple returned from home after visiting family on the mainland in 2019 to find a stranger who had moved in during their week away. They called the police who arrested Ezekiel Zayas and charged him with burglary. After he was taken into custody, the real nightmare started. The inside of the house was trashed. Bodily fluids covered the family's furniture. The kitchen was housed with strange concoctions. All the family's possessions were strewn around the home and destroyed. The family also discovered disturbing messages in the home. The intruder also wrote about performing surgery on the couple. Knives were laid on the bed as if preparing for a surgical procedure. The man reportedly wrote detailed diary entries about each family member. 
Police suspected that he had been watching the family for some time. The scared couple recalled strange past events like webcams turning on in the middle of the night and doors being inexplicably left unlocked. While awaiting trial, in this case, Zayas allegedly killed another jail inmate in a fight. He was charged with second degree murder. Theft and vandalism. In some cases, froggers may not only overstay their welcome, but also engage in theft and vandalism. Personal belongings may go missing and the homeowners may return to find that their treasured possessions damaged or destroyed. This can lead to financial losses and emotional distress. While most froggers may not have malicious intentions, there have been cases where homeowners have encountered dangerous individuals. Assault, violence, or sexual harassment have been reported leaving homeowners traumatized and fearful. Trespassing and legal consequences. Individuals who sneak into someone's property without permission commit a serious offense. Trespassing laws exist to protect people's privacy and security. Froggers caught may face legal repercussions, including fines, criminal charges, or even imprisonment. Home is a sanctuary, a place where people feel safe and comfortable. Uninvited guests disrupt the sense of security and invade the privacy of homeowners. Victims of frogging may experience feelings of violation and anxiety, leading to losing trust in others and difficulty feeling safe in their homes. Even without direct harm, the psychological impact and emotional toll of discovering an uninvited guest in one's home can be substantial. Homeowners may suffer from anxiety, paranoia, and feelings of vulnerability long after the incident, affecting their overall well-being. So how can you protect yourself from froggers? Society must take a firm stance against invading other people's privacy to combat the alarming trend of frogging. It is important to understand and respect a person's privacy and boundaries. Public awareness campaigns, educational initiatives, and legal measures can all play a part in discouraging this unethical behavior. Social media platforms can also promote responsible content and discourage harmful trends. These true stories demonstrate the eerie possibility of someone living within the intimate confines of another person's home, invading their privacy, and generating a constant sense of unease. They remind us that despite our perceived safety and security within our homes, there's always a small chance that an unwanted presence may lurk in the shadows. Frogging is not a harmless adventure, it is a dangerous and invasive act that can lead to severe consequences for the trespassers and homeowners. Respecting boundaries, seeking consent, and valuing others' privacy are essential aspects of a healthy society. By recognizing the negative outcomes of frogging and actively discouraging this trend, we can survive to create a culture of respect, empathy, and understanding. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about frogging and some of the cases that I've discussed. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.